Hi. When I'm creating a chart for a knit design project, I typically like to work on graph paper that's roughly the same gauge as the, my project. So I use Microsoft Excel, and this is how I set up my sheets so that I can get graph paper at pretty much any gauge that I need. The first thing I have to do is determine my gauge. And for this example, I'm going to use a swatch of 24 stitches and 30 rows over 4 inches. So that's my gauge swatch. The next thing I need to do is I need to figure out the individual width and height of a stitch. So you take your 4 inch wide and divide it by the total number of stitches. And that gives you an individual stitch width of 0.17 inches. Now I do the same thing for the row height. So again, I take the gauge height in this case, which is again, four inches. I divide by the total number of rows, four divided by 30. And that equals 0 0.13 inches. So now I have the height and width of each stitch. And those are the measurements that I need for Excel to set up my uh, column and row dimensions. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer that down here. My column width is the same as the stitch width, which is point. 17 inches and my row height is the same as my row height or the stitch height and that is 0.13 inches so I'm ready to go I'm gonna go ahead and set up my column width first and that's over here in Excel so the first thing I want to do is select all so clicking on this little tab select all the cells in all of the sheets or pages in this particular sheet. Once I've selected them, I go open up the Home tab and I go to Cells, Format, and Column Width. Alternatively, I could go up here to Format, Column Width. Either way, it'll bring up this box where you can type in the new column width. In this case, 0.17 inches. So I have 0.17 inches, I say okay, and all of these columns are gonna get more narrow. All right. So now I've set up the column width, and I do roughly the same thing for the row height. Make sure everything is still selected, Go to Cells, Format, and in this time, Row Height. And for this one, we determined that it was 0.13 inches. And now I have graph paper that is the same gauge as the project that I'm working on. I can save this. File, save. I'm going to save it as knitting graph paper. Save. And I'm going to save this sheet. I'm going to rename it as 24 stitches by 30 rows. So I know what this graph paper is. I could always do this again with another sheet so that my document, knitting graph paper, could hold several sheets, each one with a different gauge graph paper for me to use in my projects. That's part one. In part two, I'll explain a little bit about margins, orientations, and adding stitch and row counters to the columns and rows. Thank you.